Y'all, well, this your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for me. So, Hassan Campbell, who is a YouTuber, is very critical of my son and Tamika Mowry. Saying that they're leading the people to a burning house. And here's my thoughts about this. This dude is clearly doing this for clout, man. You notice every other day he has to chime in and be critical of somebody doing something. Now, Hassan, he's a smart dude. I'll give him that. He's a smart dude. But at the same time, he flip-flops too much for me to even take him seriously. Because just last week and a week before, he was trying to defend my son. He was going at young Farrell. Him and my son have history. And apparently he's upset with my son and Tamika Mowry now. But it's like, dude, we don't need that type of commentary right now. Just last week, you was preach. You was trying to call out rappers. You was trying to call out Jay Z. Whenever this whole ordeal with the police happened, you always the first dude to call out rappers. Your entertainers, Beyonce, Jay. He always the first one to call these people out, saying because they quiet or saying they scared. So now, you have my son out there, but yet you still criticizing him. Tupac said it best. Niggas going to hate you for whatever you do. And this is a scenario where everybody, instead of getting into the game, they want to give safe commentary behind their laptop. I want to salute my son. I want to salute Tamika Malka. That was a very powerful speech that she made. It's time for this stuff to end. And the cold part about it is we tried it the civil way. It's not no situation where we were just acting like uncivilized animals. Black people have tried every type of negotiate under the sun to battle this beast. We tried group economics like a lot of these scared safe niggas suggested. We tried that. But look what happened a hundred years ago this day. The Tulsa bombing. We tried peaceful protests with Dr. King. He caught a bullet in his neck for it. Assassinated Malcolm X, Mega Evers, destroyed the Black Panther Party. Any party liberating us then got destroyed. We've tried everything. And black people the first one trying to unify with somebody and nothing to get nothing back. So I ain't trying to hear what Assign Campbell got to say now. Get into the game and get solutions. Get off YouTube and build with the people. Get in the game. Get on the block. That's my issue. And I also want to say in terms of these celebrities, I salute the ones that are speaking out. I salute J. Cole. I salute Nick Cannon. I salute Justin Timberlake. I salute a lot of these guys that's going out there. Because they don't have to do it. And this is what people need to stop doing. Stop depending on entertainers to be the saviors. If they want to do it, that's fine. But if they don't, that's fine. Be your own hero. Be your own superhero. Don't depend on Drake to pick up the phone and make a call. You be the you be the leader and make the call. See, we got the deal. This is one thing that 2020 has showed us. That the era of ideal worshipping is over. The death of Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, proved that. It proved that everybody else is, is not... Immune to death. God bless his soul and God bless the nine people and his daughter. It shows that celebrities are not superhuman. And this whole ordeal with the pandemic that happened, it showed how powerless these guys, these guys are really are. So, I salute my son. I salute Tamika Mali. Keep pushing what you're doing. Forget what these, what these YouTube dudes like Pharaoh and Hassan Campbell and whomever that want to throw sh shots at them. Keep doing what you're doing. We riding with y'all. Be sure to check out his new music. That's dope. I salute those guys. So, this is King Eric the Great giving my little two cents about this situation. Subscribe and hit the like button. Holla at your boy.